Hello, my awesome and amazing Tauruses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. If you are a Taurus dealing with a Libra, then this reading might be for you. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number four. Power of number eight. And power of number seven. Okay. Looks like we are going to the number 19. Some of you Tauruses could have been born in 1971, 1974, 1978, or 1979. You could have been born in 1981, 1984, 1987, or 1989. You could have been born in 1991, 1994, 1997, or possibly 1998 for some of you. With the power of number four, we could see the Emperor card kick in. Yes, a lot of you Tauruses were born in the month of April. That's not to um, neglect you Tauruses that are born in the month of May, because you certainly were. So... You could also, um, or I should say, we could see, I'm trying to get my words out this morning. It's very early. We could see the strength card kick in, possibly the chariot, the magician, the hermit, temperance card, the star card, the moon card, and the sun card. Okay, so going to the power of number 19. For you Tauruses dealing with a Libra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers for those dealing with a Libra. What is the overall general collective energy, please, between Taurus and Libra at this moment? Show me what's going on. The Prince of Wands, this is like the Knight of Wands. You could feel, Taurus, that this Libra is a player or that they're in and out. Or they only come to you for one thing and one thing only. Um, there very much could be a lot of inconsistency that's going on, inconsistent communication. This Libra could also be at a distance from you. So some of you could be in a long-distance relationship. Maybe you met this person online. Um you could have met them out at a bar, possibly through mutual friends. Some of you Tauruses have gotten fed up with this Libra. Whatever they're selling, you're not buying Taurus because of the inconsistencies. And I do feel that there's a third party situation going on with this Libra. The Nine of Pentacles. Unfortunately, I feel like this Libra is not really thinking about long-term commitment. It seems to me that they want to play the field. They're not really ready to settle down. This is what it's showing me because the Nine of Pentacles is about singlehood. They could be very... Um, well to do or you know they can be very meticulous about the way that they look how they present themselves some of you feel Taurus that this Libra is a narcissist or has narcissistic tendencies or personality traits 
for those of you that have a child with this Libra, child support money may be owed. But they want to play the field. This is what I'm seeing here. And they feel like they can mosey in whenever they, whenever they want to. And that's just not good enough because on the bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands, twin flame, soulmate, 11, 11 connection. You could feel that this Libra is your soulmate. If you want to put the label of twin flame on it, whatever you identify this Libra with, because they're just earthly terminologies. You could have been engaged to this Libra at one point in time. Maybe the engagement got called off. Either way, I'm picking up that there's an undertone of frustration going on beyond the cards. So basically looking at the actions of this Libra. Very inconsistent. For some of you, if this is a newer connection, maybe you haven't heard from them in a couple weeks. Maybe it's been a few months. Let's go into the Kipper deck. Some of these Libras may travel for work. Trusted Ancestors, give us a little bit more insight on this Libra towards Taurus, please. What's going on? What is this Knight of Wands energy occupation? This could be a co-worker of yours that you have a strong interest in. There could be a secret love connection that's going on at work. Maybe it's a boss figure. Or you're wanting something to work out with this Libra, maybe hoping that they're going to change their mind or wake up to the truth of the connection. But like I said, some of them could travel for work. You're on this, per you're on this person's mind, okay? They are thinking, I think you're thinking about them. They're thinking about you, but I'm not getting real movement here. Because they're not bringing me in commitment energy. Some of these Libras that you're dealing with could be highly creative. They could be an artist. Maybe they're a musician. They could play in a band. So I'm picking up a lot of uh, creativity off of this uh, Libra. And I'm also picking up fashion design. Or they just wear their clothes very well. Maybe one of the reasons why you're attracted to this Libra is some of their character or behavior, they maybe come off as being very calm, cool, casual, laid back, and maybe that's, you know, what you like about them. But they're playing the field. Let's go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. What is the hidden truth of this Libra towards Taurus, please? What's going on? I know that I crossed the line with you. So they overstepped their boundaries. They could have been making work an excuse. Oh, well, I, I got to go to work and um, I have too much on my plate right now. Or I got to go help my sister. I got to go help my brother. I got to go help my family. Oh, I got a call from so-and-so. They need me to come and help, have me help them out with this or whatever. They, what I'm feeling here is that there's an excuse. X, Y, and Z reasons why this Libra is not bringing you the type of leveling up or the commitment that you're seeking with them. It's because they want to play the field. They want to keep their options open. So I do feel that there have been dates in the past that were scheduled and this Libra comped out. They could have done this numerous times over, leaving you feeling, you know, ghosted, rejected, unwanted. 
Yeah, some of you Tauruses have gotten pissed off with this Libra. Yet, they're looking for your energy everywhere. So, you're consuming their thoughts. Maybe they think like, oh, they'll run into you, you know, someplace. And if they run into you, that's when they'll talk to you or whatever. Or, like I said, I'm just picking up a very wishy-washy energy where they're highly inconsistent and this is this is the type of person uh Taurus you don't need you don't need this type of person especially if you're really looking for commitment I don't feel that this person is capable they're not giving it to you unfortunately and that's not to give you as your sister Scorpio as a fixed sign like you that's not to give you guys a side jab or to think that you're not wanted or you're not lovable or anything of that nature. I really feel that this Libra has really torn at your heartstrings, Taurus. They're just not consistent. And you don't you don't have time for this. That's what I'm saying. You don't you don't have time for this because you have a lot of love to give and you're looking for the long term for a lot of you. And um, a lot of times with the Knight of Wands, I could see this as a friends with benefits situation. So somebody here could have caught feelings. Or this Libra is a co-worker, could have slept with your co-worker, you know. And now it's, for some of you guys in that type of scenario, has put you, you know, into an awkward situation in some cases. If you don't work with them, somebody caught feelings here. But they're not giving you what you need. They may be giving it to you on a physical level, but, you know, you may, like I said, they're, if they're thinking about you, what, what I'm feeling here is that they're thinking more about the physical intimacy. They could be addicted to your SEX, okay? So be very careful with that because... This can turn into a very unhealthy situation, or it already did. And for some of these Libras, I'm feeling they're not over an X. So, <clears throat> let's go into the Romance Angels deck. Show me the romantic truth of this Libra towards Taurus. What's going on here? You deserve love. You are lovable. So they find you to be lovable, but they're not, they're not bringing in the commitment. And like I said, you are lovable, Taurus. Of course you are. But I feel like the way that this person is making you feel because they cross the line with you, they're making you feel unwanted. So in a way, it feels like they are gaslighting you at a distance, <laughs> you know, because they're not consistent. Like I said, there could be children involved. Your love life is being affected by children. However, a lot of times with the children card, if there are no children involved, then I would look at this as very immature behavior, immature communication. Some of you could have found yourself in a situation where you got pregnant with this Libra. They could have disappeared on you. They're not taking on their parental responsibilities, maybe not being involved. So again, they could be at a distance. <clears throat> they could be at a distance from you, even if they live in the same local vicinity. They could be thinking about this for some cases, an unexpected pregnancy. If you're pregnant, if you're a female Taurus and you're pregnant. Mm, you know, I'm looking at this person for a masculine Libra that you could be dealing with. They're a Casanova. They're a Mr. Casanova. Very highly flirtatious. Very flirtatious and we'll say charming. Sometimes we have to be careful with people who are over the top charming. 
because it could come in as, you know, love bombing, you know what I mean? And really trip you up. But they're not doing enough. That's the thing, Taurus. They're not... You may have these big desires, like I said, with that four of wands that was on the bottom of the deck. You may have deep desires to see this grow. But again, it's about them. What are they doing or not doing? Is there deception? Is there forward movement? I do feel... If they cross the line with you, then they lied about something. They overstepped some boundaries. And this leaper could have numerously come around the bend umpteen billion times. You could have gone around the block a few times with this leaper, But feel like you're spinning your wheels. So what I feel here is that if you're to the point, Taurus, where you're just really fed up, listen, I wouldn't blame you to completely walk away. Because you don't need to be wasting your time for somebody who's not really being fully present. If that's the case, you deserve better. And why shouldn't you deserve better? Why? Because you're lovable. But I know that you would probably want to receive this love from this Libra. But listen, are they really truly bringing you substance? Are they really giving you the ultimate long-term commitment? If they, if they, let's put it this way, if their energy is making you feel stuck or trapped, not knowing which way is up or down, this is not your soulmate. No partner that's really into you is going to keep you like a puppet on a string. A relationship is like a dance. You know, one partner leads the other. But it feels to me that there's some mis, misstep footwork going on here or tripping over one's footwork with this. And so they crossed the line. Why did they cross the line? What's going on with that? There you are. Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, but they could have also had a third party situation. They're also coming in as the king of pentacles, bottom of the deck. Now, some of them could have kept a marriage a secret or they could have still, they could have had baby mama drama going on behind the scenes because the queen of pentacles, she's, she's full and fertile. They could have gotten their ex knocked up or, you know, they could have gotten somebody else pregnant. Because there's, there's a children card here. <clears throat> and even so, them dealing with a third party, you honestly think that that's going to work out for the best? I already hear, I'm already seeing the red light, but like the red light's flashing. They're going to have massive major issues, and they probably already have the issues going on. And if you met this person and they're married... They could have told you, oh, I'm in separation with my wife. Oh, I'm in separation with my husband and all of this, you know. And yet, if there was an affair on your part, Taurus, with this Libra, they could have told you numerous things, okay? They could have told you numerous things like, yeah, I'm going to leave my wife. I'm going to leave my my husband. Uh, we're just separated and you know, um, no, the, the connection is over with. Got to be careful with that because they crossed the line. So they could have lied about a relationship that was already going on that they could have been in flux or suspension with. They met you. You guys connected. Yes, there's chemistry. There could be lust, passion, desire, creativity. There could be a whole bunch of things that you guys really do connect on. But at the end of the day, why did they cross the line? That tells me they were lying. They either lied about getting somebody pregnant. They could have lied about a wife, a husband, um, another girlfriend that they were dealing with, another boyfriend. You could have found out, Taurus. You could have found out through a mutual friend. Maybe you saw it online. Maybe you're still connected with this Libra 
on a social media platform. You don't deserve this, if that's the case. They could have lied to you about saying, baby, I want to be with you. I want to marry you. Yeah, there's a massive major judgment call on this Libra. They also went back to revitalize, for some of them, they went back to revitalize the connection. That's why you haven't maybe heard from them. But whatever the case may be, they left you in this uphill battle or whatever they're going back to, they're going to have an uphill battle. What is judgment? The Wheel of Fortune. For some of them that are not dealing with a third party, I can safely say that spirit, Wheel of Fortune is fate and destiny, okay? So spirit was trying to wake this person up to the truth of the value of who you are Basically, the universe handing you over to this Libra to say, hey, look, we got this beautiful Taurus here, handsome Taurus here. This could be a beautiful union. It could be a beautiful connection. But it's like they, they tossed you off to the side. They tossed you off to the side for a lot of them. And you could have even tried to convince this Libra that you two were soulmates. But they might have shrugged it off. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of them were slow moving. It, but again, it goes back to the metaphor, like the universe handing you over to this Libra to say, hey, look at this beautiful gift. You can have an over the rainbow moment with this Taurus. Have a beautiful life together. But it's like they, they cut you off. And for a lot of them, they'll have a judgment call. For those that, if you guys have children together and they're not paying child support, justice will be served because a lot of you guys could have gone to court to get child support. They may try to come in for healing, cleansing, renewal, or reconciliation with you, some of them. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. They may try to creep in as we get closer to that Christmas holiday, but... Uh, with the star card on the bottom of the deck, that's around Aquarius season. Or the truth is going to get revealed. More truth could get revealed about this. <clears throat> this is Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a lawyer. So a lot of variable, you know, storylines that are going on. Or they, like I said, they could have secretively gotten married behind the scenes or they went to revitalize a marriage. Or a connection that they had with an ex. Yeah, they could have went to go revitalize a connection. They were being sneaky. They lied. They lied about X, Y, and Z reasons to you, Taurus. They really left you like dust in the wind. But like I said, they're not up here. This is where the answers are coming from. This is just an extension. They're thinking about you. That's all fine and dandy. But there's a lot of discrepancy. And if somebody has a judgment call on them, that there's problems. Somebody's not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And somebody's got karma on their back. So... The truth will set somebody free here. And they weren't being truthful and honest with you. So for those of you who have been in the dark about your Libra, they're dealing with somebody else. You just got to keep moving forward towards, you got to understand, <clears throat> you got to understand your value and your worth. Whatever you do, if you've been in no contact, do not reach out to them just because it's the holidays. Don't do that. Because it will backfire on you. 
If this person really wants to show you that they want to be with you, believe me, they're going to make every single attempt and effort to put their best foot forward. And it doesn't matter if they were putting their best foot forward in the past. If they're not putting their best foot forward now, you got to leave that. You have to make that conscious choice because you don't want to lose your sense of self-respect. But they got a judgment call on them. And I also feel that maybe Spirit's putting a judgment call on you to start making some solid decisions about your life. You know, you can sound this person love at a distance, but if you're in no contact, do not be tempted to reach out to them. Don't do it because it always back <clears throat> it always backfires. And or even if they respond to you, you're gonna end up getting are you okay, Total? You're gonna end up getting breadcrumbs. You need substance, Taurus, to, in order to thrive in a relationship and a healthy one at that. My awesome and amazing Tauruses, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.